Hello, Sajin. I hope you all are doing wonderful today. My name is Nati. So I will be hopping right into y'all energy. I want you all to take your seat to leave what does not. If anything does resonate with you, hit that like button, comment, subscribe to the channel. Squad Rose is needed. Also, Sage Gang, thank you, thank you, thank you for the love, likes, comments. Thank you for the support. Thank y'all for everything that y'all do to help the channel grow. I really love and appreciate you all. So I am going to hop into y'all energy. I'm gonna do one more shuffle. What's the energy for Sagittarius, please? Okay, so someone is fit to call you, but they are nervous. This person that's going to call you, I feel like they don't know how you're going to pick up the phone, if you're going to be mad, if you're going to be angry, or if you're going to even pick up at all, okay? So this person don't know if you're going to pick up at all here, it's because it's something in this phone that you found out that this person has been doing. They've been strategic. So you feel betrayed and this person feels betrayed too because you want to get a divorce. That's why they feel betrayed. And you feel betrayed because you could have found out that this person has, somebody has caught and feelings for this person or your husband has caught and feelings for somebody else. Maybe you could be the husband. You just want a confession. It could have been something you've seen in the phone. You've seen that they were sneaking out or calling somebody. Okay, you've seen that this person was being very strategic. Okay, so they want to come in. They want to come back here. They're worried about what you're going to say. Okay, they they worried about, you know, if you're going to bring this situation up, if you're going to be mad, if you're going to be bringing up a divorce. Okay, um, because they want to come in and be nice, but they see that you easily trigger or you're very triggered or something. Okay, so... It's like they're trying to do stuff to try to keep your mind off of the situation of them betraying you. But at the end of the day, you just feel like you don't know if you want to put that ring on or you're just not feeling the same. You don't know if you should stay married. Okay. Um, you're just angry in your head. Yeah. So you're easily triggered and they know it. So it's kind of like they're walking on eggshells. I'm surprised that car didn't come out walking on eggshells. Um, you could have kicked this person clothes out. You could have kicked this person out of the house. Uh, you were mad. You were raging. You were angry here. Okay. They could have found out that they were blocked. So this is someone's husband or wife. Okay. Uh, they could have found out that you, that you blocked them and threw your clothes out. It could be something on social media that they seen that you threw your, you threw their clothes out or something. Okay. Um, uh, there was some sort of gossip. A lot of people was like, you need to go. Like, it's been a lot of gossip. Okay, so gossip got back to them about you being mad, kicking clothes out. This is something strategic, so it could have been something on social media. But this person has been a womanizer. Okay, and they have completely broken your trust with this manipulative communication. And the seduction, they're full of seduction here. But you guys have some sort of financial ties. Now, they do feel guilty because they have been meeting up and having sex with somebody here. Okay, they have been meeting up with somebody or sexting. If they haven't been meeting up, they have been sexting someone, watching someone. Okay, this could be someone from their past while they're in a marriage with you. Okay. So they're claiming that they're not cheating, but you want, it's like, you're so easily triggered because it's like, why are you lying? I seen this in the phone. Like now I'm finna take all your stuff. I'm finna throw it out. I'm finna put it on social media. So y'all ain't playing no games here, Sash. Okay. Um, this is someone who you just like, I don't know if we should stay married or if we should stay engaged or if I should wear my ring or if we should just even still be with each other, this is some sort of air. I'm sorry, this is some sort of fire sign. Leo, Sag, or Aries here. Okay, they've been somewhere in a toxic, in a toxic relationship, or being um full of lust, sexting, texting other people. They're 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 with at least two other people here. Okay, so they've been in this hangman energy. Um. 
or this could be you it fell out on stalking so you've been stalking or you've been keeping you've been keeping like notes on this person okay like this one woman i find out about now this another woman i find out about so it's something here where you just like keeping tabs on this person but it's like you're not really exposing your hand. I just feel like you got evidence here that this person is dealing with others while you're married, at least two other people. Okay, or they were dealing with at least two other people. So yeah, you keeping tabs on this person because you know that they're doing something. Okay, you know they're going outside the marriage. You is being strategic. Okay, you also being strategic. You the wife here with the Queen of Cups. So you're also being strategic too. Okay, so they think they smart baby they 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 ain't got nothing on you okay so you're being strategic you could be keeping tabs or something so when you do confront this person you got all the information or something here about them dealing with other people okay so yeah you're gonna have you doing your research or something so you're gonna have all the information and that's gonna help you to be able to move forward or you just like you gonna show this person this information and then you just gonna be like see this is why i gotta go because this person is like a king of cups cancer scorpio pisces aquarius energy pisces a lot of uh cups in air but i feel like this person just like they are emotionally immature here they're not ready for a wife marriage and kids like this person is still like when it with that three three of cups energy they full of like desireless temptation they they like toxic relationships they not ready for a wife okay or a husband this person is just not this person still wants to live a toxic lifestyle they're they're really not want they're really not ready to change their toxic lifestyle like with you it is like a ten of pentacles family dynamic stable full of money maybe you got the children you got the kids okay but it's like not so loving as it was in the beginning i feel like you're easily triggered now they're constantly still cheating or just like you know but maybe i've been together for a long time y'all got this love but it's like somebody's just been sabotaging the whole time they've been making an imbalance in the relationship so it's like it's like y'all not even lovers and friends anymore okay and i feel like you've been trying to find help for your marriage or maybe like you've been putting your head into work so that way you won't think about your relationship you could be even thinking about doing some counseling here okay but I just feel like it's just always a tower whenever you try to be with this person or accept that they're changing and I feel like you're seeing the truth about that now it could be some sort of karmic feminine karmic older woman karmic mother so there's some sort of karmic they've been communicating with here uh, some sort of karmic in this toxic group or this toxic lifestyle It's a lot of manipulation here. That's why they blocked you because they're coming up as the emperor. This is a karma. So this karma sees this person as like a big boss or something. Okay, there's 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 something here in regards to a child. or transportation okay so definitely i feel like y'all y'all move forward from this person maybe they thought you were gonna ever move forward but they got caught in the act and now you're not their wife anymore their secret lover has been revealed and they can't get with you no more you moved out the house or you left the home or you're not in the home no more Now they feel stuck in a relationship with their secret lover because their secret lover is not their secret lover no more. This secret lover could have even took a risk and tried to call you. Yeah, so they've been having an affair. Maybe the secret lover hasn't been wanting to be a secret this whole time. But now they're not a secret no more. But this person don't want to be with them. 
Okay, so at one moment it was all fun and games when they was a secret, but now they're not a secret. Now you awaken to it. Now they want to come back and reunite with you. But see, the community could know about this situation with y'all, like that this person, somebody is dealing with a lot of people. Somebody got a health issue here. So both of y'all could be on a public platform, okay? Or you could be on a public platform, but a lot of people know the truth about your relationship. It's like gossip. It's a lot of gossip or something going on about your relationship, and you're just getting tired of it. you getting so tired of the gossip. Like, you just don't want nobody in your business, especially while you're going through this separation or divorce or like you just don't want to be in the public eye you just want to because you've been emotional you just been you just want to heal mm. some of y'all haven't been going to work y'all been losing out on money or y'all been stressing y'all could be pregnant Okay, people still trying to be in your relationship. People trying to see what's going on with you because I feel like this can be like in the media or something about your relationship. You just want to be to yourself right now as, as this end. You could be pregnant here. People can know the truth about your pregnancy. Um, it's something about pregnancy here. But if anything resonates with you, Sag, hit that like button, comment, subscribe to the channel, Swap Rose if needed. And until next time, bye.